Hi, I'm Dr. Paul. Welcome to another episode of Ask Your Pediatrician. The topic today is my child has a fever. What should I do? Fever is probably the number one reason I get phone calls to my office. And there's a lot of misunderstanding about fever and unnecessary fear. So the most important point I'd like to make, if none other tonight, is look at your child and how do they look. Because if they look really ill, it really doesn't matter how high or low the fever is. You need to get your child evaluated. We need to figure out what's going on. We're talking about a child maybe that's really lethargic or seems to be in a lot of pain or struggling to breathe or in a lot of, you know, suffering in any way whatsoever. Okay, that's a no-brainer. Call your doctor. Take them to the emergency room if it seems that serious. Now let's talk a little bit about fever. First of all, what is a fever? Fever is defined as a temperature of 100.4 Fahrenheit or 38.2 centigrade. And that's typically based on an oral temperature where if the child's old enough, say school age, you can put a thermometer under the tongue and take the temperature that way. Now, I think frankly the simplest thing to do for most children once you're past about the two to three month age, is just take an axillary digital thermometer. It needs to be skin to skin, so it's not like under the shirt in my case, you're actually putting it skin, skin contact. And that will give you a pretty rough estimate of a temperature. If you call your doctor or your provider, tell them exactly the number you got on that thermometer, because sometimes people are adding a degree and then the doctor in their head might be adding a degree and now you're getting up into levels of greater concern when it doesn't need to be that way. For an infant, less than two to three months, a good old fashioned rectal temperature is probably the best. I think most of us have gotten away from the mercury thermometers that we had to shake down. So they do have rectal thermometers that are digital and fairly efficient and accurate. And when we're dealing with an infant, we're talking less than two to three months, this is perhaps the main time, if not the only time, that just fever alone is an important finding. So if you have a two month old, a six week old, a one month old, and they have a 38, 6, 39 centigrade, which would equate to maybe 101, 102 temperature, they need to be seen right then and there. Not that it's necessarily an emergency, but it could be. So when you're thinking about fever, just fever, we're, we're not talking about other symptoms, age matters. Less than two to three months, a real fever, have that child evaluated. Now once you're past two to three months, let's say your child has 103, maybe 104. This would be a 39, maybe even an almost 40 degree temperature centigrade. But they look good, especially if you get their fever down, they look pretty normal. They don't have a lot of other symptoms. This is not an emergency. You don't have to rush to the doctor and you can watch that child. What I find Particularly the most common cause of fever would be viral infection, for example. Everybody goes through the winter time when you have children and you're having a common cold or a flu-like illness. There could be upper respiratory with cough, cold, runny nose. It could be intestinal with vomiting, diarrhea. And if you've got a fever in that instance, let's say that fever spikes up to a really high level, 104, 105 Fahrenheit, we're talking 39, 40 centigrade. At those highest levels, your child probably looks pretty ill. Go ahead and get that fever down. We're talking acetaminophen, ibuprofen, or actually when it's that high, go ahead and do a sponge bath. You can get washcloths that are damp and you just put those on the body and move them around. They don't have to be cold. In fact, it's better if they're just lukewarm. As water evaporates off the body, the temperature comes down quite quickly. You can get a person's temperature down in 5, 10, 15 minutes by just doing that sort of sponge bath concept of letting water evaporate off the body. So that's how you get the fever down quickly, but otherwise you can use acetaminophen uh, in any age group at about 10 to 15 milligrams per kilogram, and that's every four to six hours. And you can also use ibuprofen at 10 milligrams per kilogram, and that's every six to eight hours. And we're going to have a link at the bottom for you to look at those dosings and make sure you get that dosing correct. Double check yourself if you're unsure ask or call your physician so you make sure you've got the dosing correctly.